Yudo, has your team made any progress with the wreckage? The standard ships showed nothing we haven't already seen. Basic computing, radiothermic power source... The assault ship is another story. Alloy composition is the same, but its computing matrix is like nothing I've ever seen before. Is it still active? Very. We have no idea where it's drawing power from. And our attempts to access it have been... discouraging. Meaning that three of our supercomputer banks are now slag. You didn't have to tell her that! I could hear the fire alarms from my quarters. Instead of destroying any more of our hardware, I'm having it sent to the computing facility on Kaney's. General, if you give me a little more time... While I... value your contribution, we don't have the correct hardware for the task. This facility does. Specialist Hayes, have you made contact with them yet? Still no response. Probably another ice storm. I think it may be a bit more serious. You're likely correct about that. Tandar was not an isolated incident. We've been experiencing attacks all over the system. All over the... Why didn't you tell me? So far, we haven't encountered any other large-scale ships. Our defenses are holding. The Kaney's facility has advanced automated defenses, doesn't it? State of the art. You don't think they could be compromised, do you? After what I've seen this core do, our firewalls would be like tissue paper to it. In that case, Captain, prepare for heavy resistance when you arrive. They could be expecting us. Tess, I... I uh, my, my brother is at that facility. Whatever you find, don't... Uh, I can't be distracted. Not now. He's weathered ice storms before, and he wouldn't miss the chance to work on the tech I'll be bringing. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. Stay safe. Give him hell. Right on time, Tess. I've got good news and bad news for you. The bad news is that the new capacitors my team designed are too explosive to use. The good news is that after a bit of fiddling, I've designed a new high-explosive shell for you. You're using experimental capacitors as bullets? Yes! That's just like you. Tell me what I can do with these things. I'll spare you the chemistry, but when they detonate, they unleash quite the shockwave. This will knock enemy ships around, but also emits an EM burst that can prime targets for detonation. Shall I have my team begin installation? General, I've arrived. No resistance so far, but I'm picking up some odd readings. Still no response from the facility. Something's very wrong here. Your mission is unchanged. You have permission to fire on any perceived threats.
fire. That's a friendly you're targeting. They wouldn't just fire on you. Something must have taken control of the network. If that's true, then this just got a lot tougher. This is Thomas Hayes at the Caney's Research Facility, broadcasting on all channels. We are under attack and long-range comms down, requesting any nearby military personnel to assist. This is Captain Teresa Martins. What is your status? Please respond. Requesting any nearby military personnel to assist. This message will repeat. Repeat. This is Captain Teresa Martins. Help has arrived. Please respond. Hello? Guys, backup's here. We'd uh, really appreciate it if you took care of our robot problem. Do you by any chance have an entire fleet somewhere I can't see? Because one, whatever that is, might not do the job. Trust me, one will be enough.
Okay, Tess, don't panic, but there was just a massive viral attack on Aether's systems. It's taking everything we've got here to keep it online. What did you do? I think I found our hacker. This thing is hooked into the entire facility's systems. Well, do what you do best. Unhook it. Oh, thank God. Whatever you did, it worked. The whole facility is coming back online. Mr. Hayes, is it? We have something we'd like you to take a look at. I'm delivering this AI core to you now. We couldn't crack it with what we had back home. Leave it to us. We'll get it done. It's, uh, not from the ship you just destroyed, is it? Because I don't fancy hooking that up to our systems. The Caney's facility has finished decoding the AI core. I should also inform you that everything I'm about to tell you is classified at the highest level. Do I even have the clearance to hear this? No. The Caney's team was able to establish that mining on Tandar broke into ruins, left behind by something. The mining tripped some kind of security system, and now it appears to perceive us as a threat. Enough of a threat that the core self-destructed before they could get anything more out of it. Apparently, that core is just part of a single commanding AI. More advanced than anything we can conceive. This technology is nothing like ours. So we can only conclude that this is first contact with alien life. Some welcome we're getting. So, where do we stand? The full capability of this AI and where its central processor is even located remains unknown. We are countering attacks on every front. But until we can figure out where their operating base is located... Uh, General, my comms just lit up. Status report, now! Where's the next attack? I can be ready to deploy immediately. Here. Here? As in... the base? Here as in the planet. Deep White Satellites just picked up a massive fusion plume. All of my readings are pointing to an enormous missile. Do we have damage projections? It's impossible to know until it goes off. It could take out a city, or it could be a planet buster. Open a line to URMF command. I'm ordering execution of the Eclipse Protocol and locking down the base. Commence full civilian evacuation. I want our bomb shelters full within the hour. What's the minimum safe distance for that missile? If it gets within the moon's orbit, things are going to get dicey. Why do you ask? Yuto, prepare the ether mech for deployment. I'm taking this thing down. I'm told you have something new for me. Let me guess. Another weapon? Nope. I had a brilliant idea. What if, instead of simply overcharging the thrusters to avoid damage, we overcharged them more and made the mech the weapon? I'm not sure ramming a hard metal object at ballistic speeds is a good idea. It is when you're going fast enough to rip those hard metal objects in half. Well, as long as you're prepared to fix it up afterwards. Thank <laughs> you.
Things are not looking good. That missile is carrying a heavy escort, and our fleets have been caught out of position. I'll send support if it becomes available, but you need to disable that missile on your own. And Captain? Yes? If you can't stop it, you need to detonate it. Any means necessary. But, General Burns... I understand, General. That's odd. One of the support satellites has gone... Things are not looking... I'll send support if it... Running out of time, Tess! I really hope you have a plan to stop this thing. 
Not yet. I'll figure that out when I get there. We're running behind on evacuations. If you can't stop it, you need to at least slow it down. Yes, the missile just accelerated. I've just about caught up to it. Michael, out of the way! Sorry, General, but I need to speak with Tess. I'm here. Talk fast. The missile. I found some weaknesses in its structure. Hit those and you can knock it apart without triggering the warhead. I'm uploading targeting data now. This is good. Really good. You tell, General, you can count on me.
The casing is cracking apart! Get out of there, Captain! That fusion drive is about to blow! I'm trying! Tess! Are you alright? Alright, no. Alive? Yes. Didn't Yuto mention something about first aid kits? I believe those were for the mech, not the pilot. Come on home. We'll get you fixed up. <laughs>